A couple months ago, I reviewed a product called the AX200. And the whole gimmick of this adapter is it gives you aim assist while playing on your PC by imitating an Xbox controller. While it worked pretty well, they just released a new version called the AX200 Pro made by AIM Zenex. I'm not sure what the big difference is between the AX200 and the 200 Pro, but we'll figure this out later in the video. With that being said, let's dive into the setup process of the AX200 Pro. When you receive the adapter, the box comes with a USB Type-A to Type-A cable and the adapter itself. Looking at the adapter, you notice that there's two USB-A ports and a USB Type-C port for external power. There's also a button on the front that lets you switch between the two different modes. The first one is the mouse and keyboard adapter mode, and the second one makes the device act like a USB hub. To set it up, plug the included cable into your PC, connect the adapter to that cable, then plug in the keyboard or mouse of your choice. Once that's done, the adapter should turn green. It means that the device is powered on, and now that the setup is complete, our next step is to connect it to the app. Open the Geek Voice app, connect the adapter, and select the game you're playing. For me, I'll be testing Apex Legends. So I'll set my preset to Apex Legends. After downloading the configuration, you can fine tune your sensitivity. For some reason, I actually had to add the keybinds for my D-pad, which weren't configured by default. I'm not sure why, but it could be due to just the specific configuration I'm using. There's also a feature called flexible mapping which I highly recommend turning on. Flexible mapping allows you to use multiple inputs at once. For instance, if you need to quickly switch to your keyboard or mouse, it automatically switches to the keyboard input and reverts back to controller once you release the key. Or press WASD. Initially, I thought this was a flaw in my first review, but after spending more time with it, I realized this is a huge advantage. Another cool feature is called Shaker, which acts like a jitter mod. In some games, it reduces the recoil and enhances the controller's aim assist. After spending time figuring out how everything works, the results were insane. Once I got everything dialed in, I was able to beam enemies across the map in Apex Legends using the Shaker mod. Now that we got everything set up, let's take a deeper dive in how this adapter works, the mods that are included, its performance in different games, and the difference between the AX200 and the 200 Pro along with any potential downsides. I also tested this adapter primarily with free-to-play games like Apex Legends, The Finals, Fortnite, and with one exception, Rainbow Six Siege. You can't test these adapters without Rainbow. For the best results, I spent the most amount of time playing Apex Legends. The adapter worked flawlessly with no noticeable delay or issues. Flexible mapping was a lifesaver especially when looting. The main limitations to this adapter is it imitates an Xbox 360 controller, but flexible mapping helps overcome this issue. Switching to the Shaker mod, I was really impressed. After fine-tuning the settings and watching their setup video on AIM Xenex's website to make sure I was doing everything correctly, I had perfect aim assist and no recoil. Honestly, I felt like I was killing these kids so fast and team deathmatch and normal battle royale that I was waiting to get banned or re mass reported to the point where my alt account gets banned. But it didn't happen so far. Overall, I recommend using a higher sensitivity in the app and a lower sensitivity in the game. The setup works great and even the default settings are solid. I'm really impressed with the performance of this adapter and the range of mods it offers. Some features I missed in my original review turned out to be incredibly useful. Regarding delay, I didn't notice any, but your experience might vary. And if you're wondering about me getting banned, I used it for about a week and haven't re received any sort of penalty or ban. Moving on to the finals, I didn't use flexible mapping as much since the controller layout worked well for me. However, switching between inputs occasionally can cause minor glitches. The shaker mod worked great here, and the aim assist is very aggressive in the finals, allowing me to dominate very easily, and again, no bans so far. The same goes for Fortnite. I used flexible mapping, and the shaker mod worked wonders. 
and once again, no bans as of yet. Moving on to Rainbow Six Siege, flexible mapping didn't work well, and the Shaker mod wasn't effective. But that's expected since recoil in Rainbow Six Siege on PC is barely there and pretty minute. As a bonus, I tested Call of Duty Warzone. It performed just as well as Apex Legends. With no recoil using the Shaker mod, flexible mapping worked flawlessly without any sort of issues, and it was insane being able to eliminate enemies with no recoil. As for the differences between the AX200 and the 200 Pro, there really isn't much. The Pro has a screen while the 200 doesn't, and the Pro acts like a USB hub. Other than that, they're nearly identical. My overall opinion, I think this device is really interesting. The ability to use aim assist on your PC is pretty cool. And the recoil control, aim assist, and the shaker mod are impressive. However, the potential of getting banned is concerning, so use it at your own risk. I honestly think you won't get banned over time for using a device like this, since it's spoofing an Xbox 360 controller. So there are some downsides because it's imitating a controller, but that's where flexible mapping takes control. So if you use this device without flexible mapping, you really aren't getting the full experience of the AX200. Now, as of recording and when I did this review, Aimvice hasn't released a price tag for this adapter. The AX200 is like $40. I think the lowest I've seen it for sale has been $29, so I wonder how expensive the Pro is actually going to be. And if the Pro is like double the price of the AX200, I would not recommend buying the Pro. I would just buy the normal AX200. But again, this is just my opinion. However, with that being said, if you're looking for a device that lets you use mouse and keyboard on your PC with aim assist and recoil control, the AX200 Pro is worth checking out. On that note, you guys have a wonderful night. I'll catch you in the next video.